good morning and welcome back to turn and burn so today is more of a burn today i'm afraid and he is in the workshop he is having a tidy up and planning his first film first video and uh some projects that he needs to get done but in the meantime you got me so it's saturday february the 8th gorgeous day outside uh, apparently we're going to get a storm tomorrow so we shall see calm before the storm anyway this piece is something i started last weekend and uh it's more of a doodle it's not a realistic piece as you can tell um it's more of a doodle that started off and I had an idea and I thought well I'll play with it so I play first on paper I use a drafting pad um, and just pencil it out work, work it out um, wanted to make sure that you know I've got an even spread of flowers but also wanted some some negative space as well so rather than try and do it on the wood I like to get it planned out and then I can transfer it to the wood when I'm ready and that way I'm not bruising it I don't have to keep sanding back it's like bam done so last weekend I used the skew um, and just drew around all my design I used the skew that stops um, spirit stain from spreading so I've got a bit more control over it. Um, you'll see that later on. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going around and just adding a bit of shading. You will see this through the stain. Um, it just adds, I don't know, a bit of depth. Um, it's not really detail as such. It's just adding some depth and uh, making the work less flat, if you like. Um, I don't shade this quickly, this is two times normal speed, uh, it just gives you an idea. And I'm just going around, this is a uh, spoon shaped shader pen, I'm using the razor tip P80 and uh, a razor tip uh, shader. Uh, so yeah, just continuing to go around, um, I say I will be using chestnut products spirit stains and translucent acrylics um, I'll use the acrylics just to pick out some odd little details just adds another dimension to the coloring um, may add um, may add some gold leaf silver leaf copper leaf whatever I've got maybe all of the above <laughs> I just don't know um, you'll see I've also stippled the background uh, that's just added a bit of texture as well. I didn't want the piece to be flat. Now it may evolve. There may be more um, more detail coming in. There may be a moon and clouds added. There may be some foliage around the feet. At the moment it's just the deer on the alder board. Um, the alder is local. Uh, supplied by a local sawyer. Uh, who has the new forest mark. Um, Wildwood, Wildwood Tables, uh, Kingsley, and uh, it does have some beautiful local native woods. Uh, anybody who's looking for large, um, large pieces of wood, or he's got quite a few oak burrs in at the moment. So if you're a wood turner in the local area, you might want to look him up. Um, but he does have some some beautiful stuff, and it's uh, it's all storm damage or it has had to come down through to disease or for whatever reason. Um, but it's all uh, you know sustainable, which is nice. And uh, I do love alder to burn on. It it is gorgeous wood. When this is finished, and it'll probably 
probably have a melamine finish. I tend to use melamine finish if I'm colouring a piece. Um, it'll have a spray a spray lacquer, um, melamine spray lacquer finish. Um, and that will bring out, uh, it does bring out an orange hue. Alder has a lovely orange sort of buttery hue to it, which is gorgeous. Um, if I'm just doing a burn piece with no colouring, uh, then Andy will put a hard wax oil finish on and then he he buffs the pieces and really brings out the grain so uh, I, I do like it when it's finished but in the meantime I'm going to crack on get this shading done and then I will bring you back to have a look at colouring in the meantime I shall crack on. I hope you're having a lovely workshop day, whatever you're doing, or just having a lovely relax. And we'll see you soon.